Hi guys, so this is my third try at this recording. I am Doomsday. I was going to play Gul'dan, but as I've discovered, he is impossible to play. Cool. Quick match unless your team uh, knows what they're doing. So the first game I played, we ended up winning, but I had a lot of deaths because I had two tanks who just never seemed to be around me. Second game, we lost in about 10 minutes on Drac uh, Brax's holdout. Still did pretty good, and the enemy Gul'dan was first and everything got MVP because his team actually could could defend him. Um, would love to show you Illidan because he just had a, kind of a rework, and uh, I think he's good, but unfortunately, same same problem. Uh, trying to play me a quick match and really show you guys a good video is really, really hard. Uh, I was thinking about doing Samaro because he had changes, uh, but my build hasn't changed, so we're actually going to do what I've been trying to and, and planning on doing and saying I was going to do for a while. And that is, I'm going to play Vala. Uh, the reason being, she's quite good. She's had a massive rework uh, a little while ago. But she's still really good to bring into um, Hero League and is better than Raynor. Um, doesn't have the global fall set, but has a little bit more damage and a little more survivability. So we're going to go in and, and play Vala. And hopefully, because she's not as team dependent. I say that I jinx myself. So, jinx myself. So we'll see. It's 1.40 in the morning and I want to go to bed. So... Let's hope this works. All right, friendly team: Lunar, Vala, Chogal, yes, and Ariel, yes. That's a ridiculous combo versus Varian, Jaina, Nazebo, Brightwing, Z Zarya. We have a lot of ways to lock down our big guy, um, but I'm not too worried. So we kind of have options here. I don't want to go for Monster Hunter. Uh, it does reduce the amount of cost of Hungering Arrow and does increase its damage to minions, mercs, and monsters, but I don't want to do that. Um, we can drop through Caltrops by vaulting. They do 62 damage and slow enemies by 25%. Um, I like Hot Pursuit because of the mana regen plus the movement speed. I tried to be funny there. So on my Q, I got Hangering Arrow. Straight line uh, skill shot that kind of bounces around. It's 10 second cooldown. Multi shot uh, has a 12 second cooldown. Deals enemy damage to enemies like that. Pretty wide area. We got our Vault, which has a really cool ability to actually increase our next basic attack. And so like this, you get a crit. On our... D, we have our trait, which basically basic attacks grant a stack of, oh, actually not an RD because it's not activatable, but you see what I mean. Ooh, I'm bad. Okay. Gotta grab these. Okay. So, uh, basically, as we stack Hatred, we gain attack speed. You knocked her out of my arrow. As you can see over here, we can see how many stacks of Hatred we have. Ball is actually a hero that benefits very much from attacking walls, attacking any kind of uh, obstacle because it keeps her trait up. Come on, Ariel. You know better. Don't keep me in that. Okay. We we're kind of struggling with our mana, which is not surprising. She's very mana hungry. And one of the punishing things about Vala is if you don't keep attacking, you lose all the stacks. They do have a little bit of a window. Ow. Okay, going to tap. But it's not a very long one. We could empower our Hungering Arrow, get Puncturing Arrow, increase its damage. Which isn't bad. Um, we could increase our multi-shot damage based on our stacks of hatred, which re that's really good on maps with where you need a lot of lane clear because we have a Chogol. I'm not too worried about that, and I want to go for my favorite build when I'm allowed to go it, which is Creed of the Hunter. It increases our attack speed by 10% passively, and then we have a little bit of a quest. We got to do 100 attacks against heroes, and we get extra damage.
So we want to keep attacking for our healer. Who left us? Please heal me. Please, thank you. And since we are not being focused, we're able to do a lot of work here. And now we're going to go to the lane because we want to keep our stacks of hatred up for the regen of mana. We only have five. We're still going to turn them in, though. So you could go for a punching arrow build. And if you feel like you're just not good at positioning, I would highly suggest going for that. Um, the build I'm going for requires you to kind of have an idea where you should be positioned as Vala. Pathing is weird. Okay. So we have a couple options at this tier. I went for the kind of the easy one, uh, just spe specifically because they have tanks. So I want to do a little bit of burst damage. Uh, kind of through their squishies as well. And I could have gone for uh, launching grenades on Arsenal. I don't particularly like that. Uh, I could have gone for Vault Refresh's Hungering Arrow, which if you're going for a Hungering Arrow build, feel free to do. I'm not the biggest fan of the Hungering Arrow build, but I also understand that not everybody can do the build I'm doing just based on how uh, the team comp is. Gonna vault just to get over here without taking up too much damage. Gonna, uh, gotta sippy early and try to get my hatred stacks up. And that's where uh, Vala excels. So you can see, I like the uh, damage bonus on my. Vault because I can really capitalize on moments like where the Jaina overextended. And what I'm trying to do right now is uh, what they call stutter stepping, where I'm maximizing maximizing what I'm doing while I'm attacking. It doesn't cause you to attack faster, it just allows you to kind of keep positioning, avoid attacks, stuff like that. I'm trying to do that because it is a good talent to have on any ranged assassin. This is an underrated skill. And on this team, I'm not going to ever be focused ever. Um, I can position a little aggressively. I'm trying not to overdo it. Breaking her out, so then now I can go in, keeping my hatred text up. Get a position over here. Put me in between the web weaver. I'm gonna go for Rain of Vengeance. Oh, I was stuck in a minion wave, I didn't even realize. And this, you know, I mean, I would love to brag and, you know, say, wow, I'm such a good Vala player. But really, this team is, is designed to make me look good. Because I'm just never going to get focused, ever. Gonna try to get maximum value. Going to free our, our Lunara. Back up. Back up. Uh, partially why I want to back up is just how many gems we have. We have the ability to already get another web weaver. As you can see, Gaul is just out damaging me like crazy, but I'm able to really position very, very easily. Um, I don't have to really do any work here to position, which is great. Usually with Vala, you, you can't just dive in.
But I can do stuff like that because of Lunara or because of the Ariel. And now you can go for Siphoning Arrow if you're going for a Q build. I like getting basic attack uh, damage, give me back health. Uh, Gloom is very good against someone like a Li Ming. Uh, technically even good against a Nozebo. Anytime you feel like you're going to get heavy burst. Uh, Jaina is even a, a good one. We got a three level lead, just get another round of Web Weavers. Just get zone for Cho. Well, not gonna use any of my abilities because I actually want my uh, hatred stacks to go up. Go to vault in here because again, want to keep my hatred stacks up. Just gonna heal off of him. Unfortunately, there no one really here to attack. Oh, what happened? My vault didn't go off. That's unfortunate. There was a lot going on there. I'm not surprised I died. Just because there's it was just a very contained area. But I'm kind of bummed because Vala still has the ability to vault out of that ultimate. And I got stuck on something. It was probably the zombie wall. I'll probably watch this again and be like, oh, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. And I'm the only death on our team. I mean, I'm doing really good damage, but I'm the only death on our team. Makes me sad. But we have all the lanes pushed in, and this is really cool because it allows me heal for 25% of the damage dealt, which stacks with uh, Death Dealer. And also, once I get this quest completed, which I haven't, I'll be able to get even more healing. Uh, the amount of healing I can do is, is pretty ridiculous. Oh, she's dead. She's very dead. Do you have a leap? Do you have a leap? Oh, I'm so coming. Only need another 52 attacks. Gonna build up my attack speed off this gargantuan here. Alright. We're able to get two kills. And none of us died. Very nice. Okay. Could go for the slow. I really like... Seething Hatred. Now, if you want to get maximum healing, you could go Manticore. Uh, consecutive attacks against uh, heroes is empowered. I like this one because it allows me to stay at max much easier. Okay, they're backing up. I'm not going not gonna to engage. I thought we had kind of an advantage there. Going to back up. We don't have Chogol, so we're actually outnumbered here. This is where we need to watch for the Jaina, because we haven't. Oh, that was... Oh, it's expulsions. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. I totally could have avoided that. Okay. I'm going to clean this up. And as you can see, I'm at full health pretty quickly here. And we're able to melt this pretty fast. And as you can see how far back out their web weavers are even spawning. And another kind of uh, cool thing is they've actually changed that if you have catapults, they appear as white dots on the map, which is pretty great. I like that change a lot. So as you can see, this lasts longer, which allows me to kind of maintain my, my stacks. And I get there much faster. This is not the best talent of the tier. This is a preference for the build that I'm going. Uh, Manticore is a strictly better talent, and Frost Shot is also really good with the utility that it brings.
I'm gonna try to kill this as fast as possible. Oh, I didn't realize it was actually standing in that. So, my team's gonna win this fight, but the unfortunate part was I was still right here, very engaged on me, and I didn't really have any uh, any support. Oh, did we lose Choga? Oh, Choga got a little greedy. So we're actually basically gonna lose our whole team here. Uh, which is again because I was positioned safely, but Chogal went, uh, I'm invincible, and their team basically ignored him and came for us, which happens. Um, second death. Still second in damage, actually, out uh, damaging Nazebo and L Lunara. I may have to reevaluate Nazebo, he just seems to do a lot of damage. They don't have enough a turn in, which is fantastic for us. Oh, she went shotgun build. Nice. Oh. I guess for the lane clear. So I'm not an amazing uh, jungler. If you guys know what that is, is where I basically go for merc camps. But I'm going to kind of demonstrate what she is capable of doing. Hold the phone. Are they going for boss? So when you don't see an enemy on the map, always check. Oh, unfortunate. I can't go in and save him, unfortunately. Now, they're not really going to get anything out of this. That was a great Aegis. I did think I was in the... Um, in the ring, but I was. So, you know, there's that. Uh, no. I'm backing up. I'm gonna let my web weaver fall. Okay. They did get a kill out of that. Technically, they got two, but they weren't able to really get any any great value out of their boss, which is good for us. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my jungling capability, which isn't great. I'm going to have help. But I am able to do pretty good damage. And as you can see on this crit, I hit for six, seven, 657, and which would allow me to heal. I had a weird bug where I'm not able to select stuff. Okay, good for you. Stand in the middle. Oh shoot! She knocked. So unfortunately, I had a good stun on the Jaina, but uh, she knocked her out of it. Okay. Gonna come around here. No reason. For me to stay there. Okay, didn't really get anything out of our web weavers. I'm gonna stick with him because this is our literally our whole team right here. Oh my gosh. So Chogol, unfortunately, is kind of throwing the game for us. Uh, he's being a little overly aggressive. And uh, I think he's now surpassed me in this. Yeah. I don't know where... No, he surpassed me. Okay, I'm just going to clear this because this is pushed in the fur furthest. Okay. 
I'm in a pretty safe position. I'm not too worried about them collapsing on me. Our Chogol is still down. Stay here, and then I'm going to get out. He used two ultimates and didn't get anybody, which is great for us. We need Shogal to be a little less brave. Okay. I'm going to go for basic attack range. Okay. Now, what we could have done... Oh, it's still not... So, unfortunately, guys, I can't go back and show you anything, but we could have gone for penetrating uh, or basic attacks, reduced cooldown, or uh, increased attack speed. I like the basic attack range in this game. Her talents are very, very even. And, honestly, there isn't necessarily a bad talent in the tier. Okay. So they don't have nearly enough for a turn-in. We really should just get a kill. Now, unfortunately, our healer is extremely far from our Chogol. Unfortunately, again, Chogol is just being way too brave. I'm not worried about mounting. I have, or had, the increased movement speed. He just blocked himself, which is good for us. Just need to clear this. As you can see, I heal for 82 in attack, so I can just trade into these guys, and it's not, no big deal. Only one I really need to wor worry about is Variant, because of his hard... Because of his hard stun, and he's not even there. He's actually defending. Give me a little more judicious about how I do my stun, because I think that's part of the problem. I think I've been throwing it out a little too haphazardly. Chogol is back. We're actually even in buildings, which is great. I completed my quest. Okay, defend boss. Who even took it? Interesting. Oh, that's got to mean Azebo. Azebo plus someone. far away I am for this thing, I can get away from it. Thankfully we have a pretty good comp to deal with, Mercs. Especially now that I have increased range. And we are even in Mercs pushing. It's kind of a weird little battle because... There's, oh, I missed that. That's pathetic. There's and ours are actually pushing different lanes. Oop, gonna back up. Gonna back up. Gonna back up. Okay. I believe they're really just trying to kind of get as many spider butts as they can and just try to force a turn in. They only need nine. We need to get a kill here. Very nice. Oh. 
Gotta get away from the Gurg. Now I'm gonna heal off of him. Cho'Gal, really? That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, we really can't push without our our big guy. Taking care of the important one first. And this is also nice because I can just heal off this wave. Okay, they're going to have more people up faster than us. They're probably going to even get a... Spider. Oh my gosh. Nope. Too late. So that's unfortunate we really had to do that. I should have known they'd be in the fog, though. And I keep positioning poorly in the Ring of Frost. You position in the middle, you don't get rooted. That was totally my fault. Um, now, that being said, we had a, a choke. I was a little more uh, brave than he should have been. Um, he kept getting split off from us. I think he overestimated how uh, durable he is. That's GG. It was a good game, though. Um, I think it really displayed how good Vala is. Now, uh, as you can see, or as you're going to see, she was able to keep up pretty well. Um, and we had a very good healer. But it really boiled down to just, we couldn't we couldn't really push. Nazebo played really well, and I'm not really reevaluating my... Uh, well... I don't think he's good in Hero League, but I certainly think he's good in Quick Match. Okay, so let's take a look at... Hey! Wow. That's really interesting. This is a new combination system, in case you guys didn't know. So as you can see, I actually had a ton of siege damage. A pretty good pretty good amount of damage and I'm actually impressed by the Nazebo so let's take a look at his build range okay dead rush of course and he got all that from these two on the gargantuan wow that's that's actually kind of impressive um you know I guess you can see we only died three times we should have died less uh Jana who actually had uh, a lot less damage than I thought um Got a lot of value to the Ring of Frost. I kept positioning really stupid. But this is my, my favorite build. Uh, it is not the most damage, and I'll tell you why after we talk about the talents. Uh, Hot Pursuit level 1, basically for the movement speed. I like the mana regen. Um, if it didn't come with the mana regen, I might still pick it, but uh, it's really for, for the movement speed, the chase ability. Uh, then Creed of the Hunter, we increase our attack speed by 10%. More healing when we go for uh, Temper by Discipline. Uh, we do 100 basic attacks against heroes, and we get an additional 2% basic attack damage per stack once we complete the quest. Uh, Death Dealer, I like a lot. You increase your Vault basic attack bonus from 6 to 14 per stack of Hatred. Per stack. If this attack kills its victim, the mana cost and cooldown of Vault are refunded. I am still not great with... Because uh, I'm a better Li Ming than I'm a Vala because Vala is a little more squishy and you have to position a little more carefully. So I didn't get as much value out of this as I, as I possibly could have. I love Reign of Vengeance. I didn't use this perfectly. I was throwing it out a little bit too liberally because uh, I didn't realize our, our Cho'Gal would be so squishy. He had block. Had heal. Yeah, I, I, he just overextended a lot, I guess, is, is what we just learned. Uh, Temper by Discipline is hard to keep up unless you've gone for kind of a build like this because you have to have 10 stacks of Hatred. Then you'll heal for 25% of the damage dealt, which is why I like Death Dealer uh, plus Creed of the Hunter, because it really maximizes this. Now, we could have gone Gloom and really uh, prevented some of the uh, Ring of Frost damage, which would have been nice. 
And I'll tell you what that is again when, when we get out of the, the talent screen. I'll show you what, what that talent is. Uh, Seething Hatred I like a lot because it allows you to keep the Tempered by Discipline, but it is not the best talent at the tier. Uh, Farfrey Quiver is also really, really good just because I felt like I was having to be too close in these fights, which is a problem I have with, with Vala. Now, if you want to do the most damage, um, a lot of people are going Caltrops. I don't, I don't like that. I still like Hot Pursuit. Uh, for the for the movement speed, uh, a lot of people are going punishment, but I still think Creed of the Hunter, in my personal opinion, is the best. But that being said, if you are not feeling safe and feel like you need to keep your distance, uh, punishment's really really good. I haven't gone a Q build, um, even though honestly it, it it's pretty darn darn good. But if uh, the enemy's not clumping up. You're not getting as much value out of it. I mean, because, I mean, in theory, you could do a lot of single target damage, but just the fact it jumps to minions. Yes, it prioritizes heroes, but the fact it jumps to minions is kind of tough. Uh, she's classified as easy, and I don't agree with that. Um, multi uh, Arsenal is probably. You can go multi shot four and seven. I like Death Dealer, but if you are not focusing on. Uh, a trait build, then I would su suggest going Arsenal, especially since it reduces the cooldown. Uh, a lot of people are going strafe for the damage. I like the stun on the Reign of Vengeance. Uh, I didn't realize they clump up so much, and I probably should have gone strafe, but because I was going a trait build, uh, you lose a lot of your, your damage with your your uh, basic attacks by going strafe. So I didn't want to mess that up. Um, Gloom is what I was talking about where basically you cash in all your stacks of hatred which would have worked really well with this build to be honest and we uh, you consume all hatred you increase the ability damage reduction by 3% per hatred consumed so you, if you're at 10 you reduce by 30 so you could reduce your all ability damage taken by 50% uh, for 5 seconds it starts at just 20% which is not bad at all now if I really wanted to capitalize on the fact that I went for Tempered by Discipline, I should have gone Manticore Basic. Uh, consecutive basic attacks against heroes are empowered. Every third basic attack is saved target deals an additional 5% of their maximum health damage. That's what I was saying when I didn't go full damage build. Um, I went for this because at the time we were doing a really good job in pushing in, and then our Chogol started to overextend. And, I would have needed this towards the end of the game. Uh, Frost Shot's not bad if you're having a lot of trouble. And uh, in fact, I would suggest going going this if they don't have uh, tanks that you can trade. And um, you are not going for Hot Pursuit because you'll need to be able to run away or pursue. Uh, level 20, really all of these, all these are excellent. Um, this could have really actually helped me out a lot because I already increased my attack speed by 10%. I already um, allowed myself to keep it up longer. I already had additional healing. So I, I just I picked Farfrae Quiver because we were losing at that point in the game. Um, but Rancor would have been would have been really good. And uh, this is kind of a toss up. This is really really nice. It actually makes you further out of the range of like a Rainer. Uh, but I like Vile a lot. I, th I actually had a lot of fun, even though we lost. I was able to focus on, uh, I was able to focus on what she's good at, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to ever make this a habit. But I'm making it a habit. But I kind of want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it's called stutter stepping, and I'm terrible at it. Um, I make it a little more complicated too, because I'm used to, uh, I'm used to hitting A and attacking, left click versus right click. I'm not even going to bother with talents. I just want to show... Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Just so we can be a little further away and I can show you. Okay. So. See how I'm clicking over here then moving? This is stutter stepping in a very poor... Typically, my problem is I do this. A and then attack. Which takes a little bit longer if you can do this. See, I'm able to, if I can hit the dang guy, I'm able to attack, move, and hit him while I'm on the run. Uh, perfecting this is the key to being a good Vala. I have not perfected it, so I am not quite a good Vala yet. People like Grubby and uh, Kendrick Sw uh, Swish, both on Twitch, I'd highly suggest watching because they're able to do that so well. Um... I highly suggest you guys uh, take her for a spin. Like I said, let me know uh, what you guys think of Q-Build. Um, yeah, 
don't like this one. I really don't. Um, but that being said, if you are going to maximize uh, Death Dealer or even Repeating Arrow, um, which technically if you're going to capitalize on Repeating Arrow, it's just going Monster Hunter. But if you want to really get a great value out of Death Dealer um, and don't mind losing the the movement speed, Caltrops is, isn't bad at all. I mean, I think you guys could get a lot of fun and a lot of value out of that. But let me know. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I'd like to thank Brandon and literally no body, not nobody, no body for commenting. Uh, I, b I believe nobody has been really enjoying the Doom School for Dummies, which you may have noticed there wasn't one on Friday be because there wasn't any good, any good games to show you guys, which always feels real bad. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I would like to, again, thank Brandon and Nobody for commenting. Please join them in commenting because both, well, Nobody didn't respond. I'm going to call him out on, on my next Doom School for Dummies video because I, if you guys are commenting, I want to reward you guys with content that you want to see. Otherwise, I'm kind of shooting in the dark and guessing. I might even revisit Nazebo, even though I've already made three videos. That's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I, I probably won't because I've already done so many videos. I'll probably play them on my own. I'd love to do an Illidan. Um... I probably want to show you guys Thrall, especially uh, Earthquake got changed. I don't want to. I really want to try that out. Um, probably revisit Alrak, especially now that his uh, lightning has increased range. But yeah, sorry, I just saw nine people on, and I'm like, none of these are in my game. They're not. None of them are playing heroes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm Doomsday number fifteen nineteen. Um, Find me in the Nexus, guys, because I, I genuinely want to play with people who... I, not just because you're watching my videos. That's not that's not why. But I genuinely want to watch people. 2.17 in the morning? Give me a little bit of a break. I'm very, very tired. Um, but this is the only time I have to do these videos. So, you know, I want to play with you guys. I want to hear your feedback. I want to uh, make this community that much better. So if that's something you guys are interested in, friend me. I will accept and... and I'll try to play. I'm pretty busy right now with two jobs. But, you know, you never know. I might be on when you guys are on. Um, it's it, it's distinctly a, a possibility. But anyway, peace out. I'm rambling now, which is a bad habit that I have. And I will see you guys in the next.